the first Scenic is considered the ancestor of the compact band class, which set high standards for such models. Today, he has many competitors, and it is becoming increasingly difficult to remain a leader. The reliability of the French has always caused comments. What to expect from second-hand copies? When Renault Scenic first entered the market, it surprised with a variety of interior transformation possibilities, and other automakers were equal to it. Now the Frenchman, no doubt, outplays many competitors with an impressive number of different size pockets, niches, and glove compartments in the cabin, the total volume of which reaches 92 liters. But the transformation of the internal space is already traditional for most compact vans. But this circumstance in no way diminishes the merits of Scenic. History 2003-2009 The predecessor, the second generation Renault Scenic, was produced. 3.09 The third generation Renault Scenic debuts. 7.09 The seven-seat version of the Grand Scenic is introduced. 3.12 Restyling of the model, new front and rear optics, radiator grille, front bumper. 3.13 Another easy upgrade. New turbocharged engines appeared that were not supplied to us, gasoline 1.2 liters, 115 horsepower, and 1.4 liters, 130 horsepower, diesel 1.6 liters, 130 horsepower, and 2.0 L, 160 horsepower. A pseudo off-road version of the Scenic XMOD was released with a protective plastic body kit around the perimeter of the body and increased ground clearance to 170 millimeters, 3.16 the next, fourth generation Renault Scenic is presented. What surprises unlike many of his rivals, the hero of our material, as well as his predecessor, is represented by two modifications, five-seater Scenic, with a standard wheelbase of 2,705 mm, and seven-seater Grand Scenic, with a base extended by 65 mm, a total of 2,770 mm. The short version is five-seater, but the long version can be both five- and seven-seater third folding row of seats is hidden in the trunk floor. What is curious is that the more spacious Grand Scenic became a little more common in the secondary market. They can carry two more passengers and have a large cargo compartment, 645-2085 liters versus 470-1870 for the Scenic. By the way, thanks to the sliding design of the second row, the trunk of the long version with the five-seat layout of the cabin can add 138 liters, and the short one, 107 liters. But in the seven-seat configuration, the trunk of the Grand Scenic turns out to be small, only 210 liters. The compact van is presented in two versions, Scenic, with a standard base of 2,705 mm, and Grand Scenic, with an extended base, 2,770 mm. The large one is distinguished by a larger rear side window and lanterns, the curls of which go onto the wing, in Scenic they are wrapped on the trunk lid. As experience has shown, the compact van has no problems with corrosion resistance, and it is increased by the use of parts made of polypropylene plastic, front fenders and trunk floor. Of the body parts, the plastic cap of the front optics deserves criticism, it sandblasts over time, becomes cloudy, worsening the quality of lighting, and the electric drive of the gas tank flap. Traditionally for many Renaults, this car does not have a familiar key, a key card is used instead, and the engine is started and turned off with the button. There are also expensive versions with the transponder card, according to which the car automatically recognizes the owner and, when he approaches slash moves away, unlocks or blocks the door locks. And in general, many Scenic slash Grand Scenic are well packaged, and here you can find such nice options as separate climate control, light and rain sensors, parking sensors, headlight washer, multi-steering wheel and navigation system. But the factory navigation often does not work correctly, due to the lack of fresh map updates. There are no complaints about the rest of the salon equipment. Renault Scenic slash Grand Scenic Interior Design Scenic 3 continues the basic idea of its predecessor, the central location of the instrument panel and a short stump of the center console on which the gear shift lever is mounted. At the same time, the finishing materials have become better, plastic is softer, and the fitting of parts is more thorough. Due to the high seating position and large glass area, visibility in the Scenic is excellent. There are no comments on the quality of interior trim. You will only have to get used to the central location of the instrument panel, although this feature was also inherent in its predecessor. By the way, the compact van's shield itself is Optitron, moreover, it is endowed with the choice of six design options. 
The interior transformation system is provided by three separate rear seats that ride forward slash backward on a slide. Their backs are adjustable in angle and lie on the pillows. Pillows together with the back rise close to the front seats. Each of the seats can be removed from the cabin, getting a huge cargo area with a volume of 1870 liters. The Grand has even more, 2085 liters. When transporting long items, the back of the front passenger seat is also thrown forward. For a relaxed fit, the center seat can be removed, and the other two can be installed closer to the middle. Diesels need to turn. A wide range of power units was intended for the Scenic slash Grand Scenic, although solar engines were most widely used, and the most massive of them was 1.5 liters. Renault Scenic slash Grand Scenic The most common Scenic slash Grand Scenic engine is a 1.5 liter turbo diesel, which was paired with mechanics or a robot. Experts advised purchasing versions with the traditional gearbox diesel engines of the Frenchman showed themselves on the good side. In general, they are reliable, very high torque. Maximum torque of 200 to 240 newton meters is already achieved at 1750 RPM, and economical, according to factory indicators. Fuel consumption in the city is about 5.8 liters per 100 kilometers, and with the quiet ride, it's really fit even in 4.5 liters per hundred. The fuel system of turbo diesel Scenic slash Grand Scenic imported from abroad is tuned to Euro 4 standards and a diesel particulate filter is installed in the exhaust system. Such power units are sensitive to the quality of diesel fuel and require periodic cleaning to avoid problems with the filter. The weak point of all engines is the crankshaft damper pulley with a small resource. It can wear out for a run of over 60,000 kilometers, which leads to a break in the attachment belt, particles of which can fall under the timing belt and provoke a fatal meeting of valves with pistons. Therefore, when replacing the timing belt, after 60,000 kilometers, Mechanics are advised to check the condition of the crankshaft pulley and, if necessary, also replace it. But the 2.0-liter gasoline unit is devoid of such problems. It is borrowed from Nissan, and its timing is driven by a metal chain, and the damper pulley is more durable. Another feature of all engines is that the crankshaft rear oil seal can sweat oil for a run of 150 to 200,000 kilometers. Although this does not lead to a large loss of lubrication. There are no serious comments on gasoline engines, which have become much more reliable than their predecessor. Unless on 1.6 liter engines, with a run of under 150,000 kilometers, grease begins to leak from under the valve cover. It is advisable to time the seal repair to coincide with the replacement of the timing belt, since in this case it is necessary to dismantle the plastic intake manifold. Choose a mechanic. An extensive range of gearboxes has been proposed for the compact van, see table. However, the most massive turbo diesels were equipped with a six-speed manual or DC4 robot with the same number of gears. According to experts, when buying a used car, it is advisable to give preference to the version equipped with mechanics. The robot is sluggish when driving in toffee, when the gearbox chooses between first and second gear. But much more serious is that the average clutch life is about 100,000 kilometers, and it is very expensive for such a gearbox. A non-original kit is around UAH 30,000, and a branded one is under 40,000. Domestic servicemen have no complaints about the reliability of other gearboxes. Bring on the electrification. The steering and handbrake drive of the Scenic slash Grand Scenic are electrified. The electric power steering worked well. Consumables also have a good resource. Tie rods last 80 to 100,000 kilometers, and tips last even longer. But the electric handbrake can cause trouble. A serviceable suspension provides the compact van with the high ride smoothness and good stability, which allows you to drive this family car quite actively. The weak point of the McPherson front suspension is the anthers chippers of the front struts, which can become unusable by 40,000 kilometers. True, now the manufacturer has changed the supplier of anthers, chippers, and new parts are of better quality, and after replacement they serve without problems. The ball bearings also do not have a very large resource. On average they run 60 to 80,000 kilometers. But the rest of the consumables serve well. The stabilizer struts last 40 to 60,000 kilometers, bushings, 60 to 80,000 kilometers, silent blocks of levers, 120,000 kilometers. Branded ball and silent blocks are offered assembled with front levers, but in the non-original these parts can be found separately. There are no complaints about the rear semi-independent suspension. The silent blocks of the beam are very durable. During operation, oxidation of the contacts for connecting the handbrake electric motors on the rear calipers was noted. On average, 
the clutch life in a DC-4 robotic gearbox is about 100,000 kilometers, and it is very expensive. On the Scenic, the electric drive for opening the gas tank hatch may fail. The weak point of the front end is the anthers chippers of the front struts, which do not differ in durability. Modernized parts are now offered that serve without problems.